Hello, I'm Kevin. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use this plugin. So, I'm going to show you how you can auto save and load actors just by adding a component, how you can save a state widget. So, first, let's go to Edit Plugins, and you must make sure that the plugin is enabled. In this case, the plugin is disabled, so I'm going to enable the plugin and restart the project. So, now that the plugin is enabled, uh, you can follow this tutorial. In this case, I am using the third person project template, and you can use this project or your own, your own project. So, for starting, let's create a blueprint folder. I'm going to call it blueprints. Now, we need a place where we can call the global save and load functions. Um, for that, I think the better place is to use uh, BP player controller. So let's create a player controller and name it BP player controller. Let's create a folder called core and a folder called uh, actors so we can keep things more clean and organized. Now let's move the player controller inside the, the core folder. We must make sure that we're using this player controller. So we go to the game mode setting and we set the player controller to a new player controller. Let's open the player controller and here we are going to create the functions for saving and loading our game. First, we need to create the save game object in order to use it to save and load our game. So, create the save game object and make sure you're using the CGD auto save and load object. Promote this object to a variable and let's call it CGD save game object. Save game. We are going to use the key event 1 for saving our game and the key event 2 for loading our game. So create the two events. For saving our game, we need to use the save game to slow the node. And for this tutorial, we are going to use the Say Game to Slot Compressed version from this plugin. So create the node and set the Say Game object reference to the reference we created before. And for the slot name, you need to promote the variable. And let's call it slot name. And for the value, we are going to call it slot01. As this tutorial is about auto saving and loading actors, we are going to use the two amazing nodes called auto fill save game object and auto load actor data from save. So let's create the node auto fill save game object and use the save game object we created before as an input. For the sake of understanding, let's see what this CGD say game stores. It stores basically a map record array, and each of these map record array stores a name of the map and an array of actor records. At the same time, each of these actor records stores all this data and also an actor component record array, which at the same time each of these records stores almost the same data from the, from the Laxel. What I want to show you here is that a say game object basically stores an array of levels data and each of these levels will store the data for all the actors that belong to, the, to this level. So, as this supports an array of math records, it basically is saying that it supports level streaming. After the auto field say game object is executed, the CGD say game object will now contain the data for all the actors that are loaded in all the levels. So we can save this say game object now into a compressed file. So right now, the game is being saved just by pressing 1. For the loading functionality, we are going to use the load game from slots node, and in this case, we are going to use the load game from slot compressed version. It is very important that you use the same save game object that the one you use when you save the game. So in this case, 
we are using the CGD save game object that it allows it allows us to auto save and load our game. After loading our game, we are going to call the second auto functionality. It is called auto load actors data from save, and you can see that it is very easy to use. At this point, the save and load functionality is completed, so we are going to just print a message for both cases. We are going to print game saved and game loaded. And this is it. This is basically the global save and load functionality, and as you can see, it is very easy to implement. But at this point, nothing will be saved, of course, because no actors are implementing the CGD save and load component. So if we play and we save and load our game, nothing will happen. But if we go to our project folder, to the saved folder, and then to our save games folder, we will be able to see the save file. In this case, it's a compressed version. So. We, did, we are going to delete that and now we are going to create an actor so we can save it and load it. So let's go to the actor folder and let's create a new blueprint class from the actor type and let's call it BP cube. Let's add a cube to this actor so we can see how this save and load system works. Also, let's simulate physics on this actor and let's set the mass to 20 so we can push it easier. For testing, let's put this actor in the world and let's click play and if we push it, we can save and load right now, but nothing is happening because the actor is not implementing the component. But let's set this the mass to, to 10 so we can push it easier. Let's test it and it is lighter right now. In order to save and load this axle when we call the events from the player controller, we need to add the CGD auto save and load component. And at this point, if we test and we push and save and load our game, you can see that just by adding a component, this actor has been saved and loaded. As you can see, this system works really nice. Any actor can be auto saved and loaded just by adding a component. And this is the end of the tutorial, but before finishing, we are going to organize this method, this, fun this functionality a little. We are going to load the game at the begin play, so each time we, kill it, we, we click play, the game will be loaded. And if we test it right now, we click play and we can see that the axle is being loaded right now, but it is not loading the correct transform. So we delete the save and we test it again. We save the game, we load it and it is loading correctly, but if we click play, it is not working. This is an issue uh, that only happens when you try to load uh, the game from begin play. It is because the actors uh, are not correctly initialized yet. But all you need to do is to add a delay before loading an actor. And this delayed node must be can be uh, for, can be zero, so the delay will be one frame. So just set the delay to zero and there will be a delay of one frame at the beginning, so if we click play, you can see that the actor is being loaded correctly. So the issue is fixed at this point. By the way, on begin play, as we are loading the game from a slot, from the disk, we don't really need to load the game from disk each time we press 2, so we can delete this node, because the say game will be in memory when the game is running, so we can use this you, we can just use the save game object to load the actors from the save, from save. So this is it. This is basically the basic the functionality to save and load any actor.
I'm going to comment these notes to keep strings more readable, so I'm going to say begin play creates a game object and try to load the game because if there is no say game in disk it will not load the game and on one I'm going to save save game and on two I'm going to say load the game and this is it thanks for watching this tutorial